Chapter 14, Leadership, including information on the leadership team of Dr. Pepper Snapple Group. Hello, my name is Teresa Volter. This is Team Abdullah. We'll be covering Chapter 14 on leadership in the Dr. Pepper Snapple Group. Chapter 14, Learning Objectives. Explain what leadership is. Describe who leaders are and what effective leaders do. Explain Fielder's Contingency Theory. Describe how path goal theory works. Explain the normative decision theory. Explain how visionary leadership helps leaders achieve strategic leadership. We all have our own perceptions of what leadership means, but let's begin with a simple textbook definition of leadership. According to our text, leadership is the process of influencing others to achieve group or organizational goals. Sounds simple enough, or does it? Generally speaking, most people use the terms leader and manager synonymously. Both leaders and managers play an important role within a group, a team, or within a company, but they have two different leadership styles. As the name implies, managers manage the here and now, focusing on tangibles. Leaders are more visionary and focus on vision, mission, goals, and objectives on the future. This does not discount the skills of the leadership or the leadership styles of managers. Managers focus on factors such as staffing, productivity, and standards. If a leader focuses on challenging the status quo, a manager will be almost the polar opposite as a preserver of the status quo. Managers want to ensure goals are met, so often they are trying to find ways to improve on processes that make staff more efficient. Let's take a look into Dr. Pepper Snapple Group's leadership team. Larry D. Young is the president and chief executive officer. Joining the company in 2006, he was the president and the chief operating officer at the Bowling Group division. As the former president and CEO of the newly acquired Dr. Pepper 7-Up Bottling Group, he had plenty of experience that prepared him for his current role. Not to make his career seem overly glamorous, it was Young's drive and leadership ability that allowed him to work his way up from working on a Pepsi route truck to Pepsi's president and COO before taking a leadership role in Dr. Pepper's Snapple Group. Remember that a leader is an innovator and a promoter of change that challenges the status quo. Unlike managers with a more short-term perspective outlook, leaders are innovators like Larry Young with more of a long-term view. Our textbook provided statistics from a survey of 1,542 senior managers to determine who they felt would be a more successful CEO. 47% said that extroverts make better CEOs. Despite the 53% who felt that introverts make better CEOs, 65% stated that being an introvert hurts the CEO's chances of being successful. Surprisingly, all of all CEOs, 40% are actually introverts. Our textbook defines traits as relatively stable characteristics such as abilities, psychological motives, or consistent patterns of behavior. Trait theory holds that types of leaders have similar traits. Traits of a leader are drive, desire to lead, honesty and integrity, self-confidence, emotional and cognitive ability, and a working knowledge of the business. Having leadership traits is not enough to be considered a leader. Have you ever heard someone say, I'm just wired that way? Well, a leader is not just defined by how they are wired, but also by what they do. This means their behaviors are those of a leader what they're actively doing to inspire and motivate others to achieve goals. There are two basic leadership behaviors that are necessary to be successful in leadership, initiating structure and consideration. Initiating structure is a leadership behavior that has an effect on job performance, and consideration is the leadership behavior that has an effect on job satisfaction. According to the Blake Bluton Leadership Grid, leadership high in both leadership behaviors is called team management. Most would assume that the most effective leaders employ the team management style. What do you think? In addition to the team management style, there are four more leadership styles described on the Blake Newton Leadership Grid. These five management styles are categorized and rated on a nine point scale. The further up the grid, the higher the concern for people. The further to the right on the grid, the higher the concern for production. 
The authority compliance management style has a low concern for people, but a high concern for production. In contrast, the country club management style has a high concern for people, but a low concern for production. So back to my earlier question, which management style did you say was best? Well, it's been concluded that there isn't one best because no one style works well across all situations and all employees. So in closing, under outstanding leadership, Dr. Pepper Snapple Group has benefited tremendously. Driven to pursuit of financial goals and continuous improvement through teamwork, innovation, and precise execution, the over 19,000 employees of Dr. Pepper have been enabled to create new ways of working and essentially deliver outstanding business results. Essentially, this is the result of a great leadership structure and the ultimate goal of a great leadership team. Hello, my name is Abdullah Aliani. This is Abdullah Team. We will be covering Chapter 13, Leadership, Dr. Pepper Snapple Group. Federal Contingency Theory. The definition states that in order to maximize work group performance, leaders must be matched to the right leadership situation. This means that leaders are more effective when the situations in their team suit them. They are better off being in situations that they are familiar with and where they perform best. assumptions we have leaders are effective when they when the work groups they lead perform well assess leaders by the conduct and performance of the people they supervise dr pepper snapple maintain team leader engagement score the company maintains team leader engagement score in order to compare themselves to other high-performing companies. This means that their leaders are assessed on how their people function. The success of the team is a success that can be attributed to their leaders. When the leaders are generally unable to change their leadership style, this means that leaders will be more effective when their style are matched in to other proper situations. For favorableness, for, for favorableness, of a situation for a leader depends on how the, they influence group members. Favorableness of a situation for a leader depends on the degree to which the, the situation permits the leaders perform the leaders uh, to influence the behavior of a group member call to breakthrough action. Through the leader's influence and action, the group members through a day-long training course designed to educate new employees on every aspect of their business, from the innovation pipeline to their road to market. The leaders give employees a first hand account of their portions of the business and helping them understand how their role contributed to the success of the company. DPS Campus DPS Campus is an, a learning system open to all managers and supervi supervisors to manage teams providing the skills and knowledge the company people need to succeed differently to win. Through this program, 
Leaders are more equipped to influence their group members' behavior because they are more knowledgeable of the situation. Path goal theory. Definition. Leaders can increase subsistence, satisfaction, and performance by clarifying and clearing the path to goals and by increasing the number and kinds of rewards available for goal attainment. So leaders need to clarify how followers can achieve organizational goals, take care of problems that prevent followers from achieving goals, and then find more and va varied rewards to motivate followers to achieve those goals. We have two conditions. Condition one, leader behavior must be a source of immediate or future satisfaction for followers. So, these things you do as a leader must either please your followers today or lead to, activi to activities or rewards that will satisfy them in the future. The DBS campus allows the leaders to improve their knowledge and capabilities to perform their tasks in the company. When leaders are more knowledgeable, there is a greater chance that members will reap rewards from this such as increased knowledge and skills which they will learn from their leaders. The condition two, Leaders' behavior must be complemented and not duplicate the characteristics of the followers' work environment. When Dr. Pepper Snapple allows their leaders to offer unique and valuable experience to their followers beyond what they have already experienced as they do their jobs or what they can already do for themselves. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is David Michael Castillo. Uh, I'm representing Team Abdullah, the Dr. Pepper Snapple Group. We are doing Chapter 14 Leadership. I am doing Section 5, which is the normative decision-making theory. Uh, in this Section 5, I will describe what the normative decision-making theory is, uh, the styles of decision-making, the two big key components into decision-making, and the rules to increase the quality and acceptance in decision making. The normative decision theory is a theory that suggests how leaders can determine an appropriate amount of employee participation when making decisions. This normative decision theory is also known as a Vroom Yedin Yago model. The norm of decision theory has five specified different decision making styles. For time purposes, I will name three. The first is the autocratic decisions, in which leaders make the decisions by themselves. The next is the consultative decisions, in which leaders share the problems with subordinates but still make the decisions themselves. That transitions into the last one, which is group decisions, in which leaders share the problems with subordinates and then have groups make decisions. There are two significant components of leaders' decisions. That is the quality of the decision and the level of buy-in associated with it. Team members want to make sure that the leader has enough information to make a wise decision in order for those team members to buy into that leader. In order for team members to buy in, they need to feel a part of the process. Therefore, you can allow team members to have an input in the decision making process, but ultimately make your own decision. 
As you can tell from the chart, there are multiple decision rules to increase decision quality and as well to increase decision acceptance. The normative decision theory, like the path goal theory, is situational in nature. A prominent leadership scholar has described this theory as the best supported of all leadership theories. Many people will believe that making tough decisions is at the heart of leadership. Yet, experienced leaders will tell you that deciding how to make decisions is just as important. Stop. Hi, my name is Sylvia, and I'm going to talk to you about visionary leadership. Visionary leadership creates a positive image of the future that motivates organizational members and provides direction for future planning and goal setting. There are four types of visionary leadership that I will be explaining below. First type is strategic leadership. Strategic leadership is the ability to anticipate, envision, maintain flexibility, think strategically, and work with others to initiate changes that would create a positive future for an organization. The next is charismatic leadership. Charismatic leadership, the behavioral tendencies and personal charismatic, I'm sorry, personal characteristics of leaders that create an exceptionally strong relationship between them and their followers. Charisma is a Greek word meaning divine gift. There are two kinds of charism, charismatic leaders, ethical and unethical. Ethical charismatic leaders who are leaders who create strong relationships between them and the followers. Unethical charismatic leaders control and manipulate followers and do what is best for themselves instead of the company. And last but not least, transformational leadership. That's leadership that, get, that generates awareness and acceptance of groups' purpose and mission and gets employees to see beyond their own needs and self-interest for the good of the group, which coincides also with transactional leadership. That is leadership based on exchange process in which followers are rewarded for good performance and punished for poor, poor, poor performance. Thank you.